Welcome to akubra.co.uk and elmerburford.com. We have the kit test to see how waterproof an akubra is. So I'm using my uh, work hat, which is the Territory, and it's made from rabbit fur felt. I've got my trusty Sasta country coat, uh, which is a Gore-Tex spider lining, so that will keep my shoulders dry. What it's got to do is stop the wet from going down my neck. I better take my shoes off because I'm going to get soaked in a minute. Right, so uh, let it rip. So obviously we're dealing with a big downpour here, um, it's a significant downpour. Pull the neck collar in a bit. Good old coverage. What I'm finding is that the air holes, um, you're managing to squirt through the air hole, so I'm getting a little bit through that, but it doesn't matter. What we'll do, we'll keep on, uh, keep on keeping on. And then we'll lift the hat off and see how wet the brim is, because the brim is getting a bit of uh, a heavy duty soaking now. Has it gone darker? Okay, I'm feeling uh, only a trickle on the inside, and that's coming directly through the, the, the big air holes on the side. But uh, this is the territory for you, it's got massive air holes on the side. The rest of it is absolutely bone dry so far. Let's see what's happening. Okay, so we must be, what, up from about a minute and a half? Okay, stop off for a second. Okay, so as I said before, completely saturated on top and then bone dry underneath. It's yeah, I mean, it's got really big air holes. It is waterproof, Max. It's got really big air holes, so that water was squirting through there. And so I've got, so I've got two drops here. And you can see that on the inside of the hat where the water has been coming through there. But everything else is completely bone dry. Well, let's keep it going. <laughs> okay, so you pour it right in the top of the crown there and see how we're going. Okay, let's have a look now. Okay, I have been literally pouring in through the air holes on the side. But the rest, I mean, I'll just, as you can see, it's still, I mean, I've just flicked a load of hair into it, but it's still bone dry on the inside. That wet has just come in through the air holes on the side there. I'm dry on top, completely dry. Right, keep it going. <laughs> I've got water pistols now as well. That's not good. <laughs> hey! Hey! <laughs> 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 Ha 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 ha! 
Hey! Okay, hold on. I've been got by the water pistol, man. Okay, so as you can see, still absolutely... I mean, I love this hat. Luckily, you don't have horizontal rain most of the time. Let's have a look under the jacket too. Anyway. Okay, what, how many minutes are we on now, do you reckon? Five. Five. Oh my god. Right, okay, keep going. So, yeah, as you can see, well, there's a bit of splash back on here, splash back on here, and of course my hair was wet on the sides and that is still, still dry on the inside of the hat. So as you can see, the hat is saturated, absolutely saturated, and you're not, no surprise there. So this hat is probably about, what, nine years old, something like that. So bags of life in it left. Um, the underside of the hat is has got some splash on it and where I drew my hair back which was wet and then put my hand on it of course that has left a, a residue of water there but the hat in its crease I'll show you that's the crease that's where it should be coming through and it's not so I'm really pleased with that and it's plenty to go as well.